Hi y'all. Welcome to my channel. Hey y'all. Hi y'all or hey y'all. I don't know. Either way. Welcome. My name is Vanessa and today I'm going to finally try Juvia's Place. This is the palette we are trying today. It's the Festival palette and when you open it up it comes bubble wrapped and then you pull it out and there's what she looks like. Really nice packaging. I like the packaging. And then when you open it this is what it looks like. It has this little protective layer and there are our shades. Oh my goodness. Just beautiful. I haven't swatched this or touched this at all. I was waiting to do it on camera. Okay, so I don't really know where I'm going to go with this guy, but we're going to wing it. And I'm so happy that they're carrying this at Ulta now. That makes me so happy. Because, you know, oh! And I just dropped it all over my shirt. Got, got a little bit on my shirt. That's okay. Anyway, so if you do want it, you don't like it, you can always return it really easily. Plus, you can get the Ulta points with it. So, yes, I'm all in. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Wow. I know. I'm so sorry about where you can see the plugins over there. When I zoom in, you won't be able to see it. This is a different setup than my usual. This palette was $20 at Ulta. Okay, let me finish up these swatches and then I will show you guys. And then we will start on the look. Okay, here are some swatches. And these shimmers are beautiful. There's all of our colors, and then here's the bottom row, which is the black, the teal, and the gold. So I have one eye almost done, and we are going to do this eye. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this formula is great. For $20, get them. And I'm starting out with my NYX blending brush. Uh, 16, number 16 brush. And we are going in with this guy right here. And I'm going to put that in my upper crease area. Lightly, lightly putting it in there. So I got my very first hate comment today. Yay me! Um... And I will say it did kind of bother me, but I must be getting somewhere because that is my first one. And it was very rude and not nice at all, but I'm not going to let that bother me. It is what it is. People are mean and rude. And even in your personal lives, don't let people bring you down. If you're doing something that you love, you keep doing it. Don't let anyone deter you from doing something that you enjoy, something you're passionate about, something that you love. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to let that person ruin my day or question myself. I love this. Like, I love talking to a camera and doing makeup. Like, I love makeup. I love it. So, I'm not going to let anyone deter me from what I love doing. Anyway, I'll quit ranting. Now I'm going in with the orange shade right here. And we are going to put that in our actual crease area. And then circular motions back and forth. And I love how these are buildable. You see, it definitely has some pigment, 
but it's not just pow in your face pigment. All right, and then I'm taking my Morphe M429. And, oh, got brushes rolling all over. And we are going to go in with the red shade right here. I would like it if the palettes had a mirror, but I mean, for $20, I'm not gonna complain. And we are going to put this guy just a tad lower and then blend, blend, blend. You can see there the difference between the color like this. Red is beautiful. And then I just kind of keep switching back and forth, I'm going back in with the orange shade, just right on the edge there. And then I'm gonna go back in with my NYX brush into that first shade that we used and go right above it. All right, now we are going to go in with this guy right here. And I have my Vera Mona brush that I'm using. It's just a little, I won't say flat, but it's kind of flat synthetic brush, kind of flat. And I'm going to dip into that. This is dry, it is not wet. Watch this. And that is a dry brush, not even my finger. So I'm going to kind of cut this out right here. And then fill in the lines. It's almost like we're cutting the crease. I don't know why, just, I don't know why I did that. But it's like we're cutting the crease, but we're not. We're not using concealer, or any of that jazz. All right, now I'm going to go in with what I think is the star of this palette. It's just so unique and so beautiful, this color right here. We are gonna use that same brush, but I'm cleaning it off. So just taking that right on top there, cleaning it a little bit. And we're going in with that shade. And this one does have some fallout, it is a little bit more powdery, but that's okay. We did our eyes first. And then I'm gonna go back in with the other shade and connect them. And then back in with the white shade and go right over top. So I have some fallout there, but I was being super careless with it. So, now I'm gonna take my super dirty makeup wipe and we are going to get this fallout. I might need a new one. It's getting kind of dry. We're gonna try it. So first I'm gonna run that right up there and clean that up. All right, I'm going back into my Morphe M429 with that red, and we are going to just run it right over it. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and finish up my face, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do a wing or what yet, but I will be back in a few. So let's get to work on this lower lash line. I'm gonna take this red on just a flat definer brush um, I just got this from Walmart. And we are going to put that super duper close on the lower lash line. I'm not taking it all the way in, stopping it about right there. And then I'm gonna grab my E36. We're going into that orange. Oh, it would help if I was in frame. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the same brush and go into our transition shade and take it, I swear, 
and take it just a smidge lower. I'm gonna grab my pencil brush, the same shade that we have on our eyelid. We are just gonna brighten her up there. Okay guys, this is our finished look with the Juvia's Place Festival palette. And I love this look. Like, I love this look. I used a Campfire by Dose of Colors on my lips. I lure 117 lashes and the Tarte Little Clay Paint, I think's what they're called, um, liner. And I have to say, I really do love this look. I do. I definitely recommend the Festival palette. I think it's really, really good. And the other palette I got, I think it's called the Afrique palette. I don't really know how to say that. I'm very sorry if I'm messing it up. <coughs> but yeah, I cannot wait to review that. I'm so excited about Juvia's Place. They are pretty darn inexpensive and I mean, it's great quality. Like, it's great quality. I mean, wow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and review. And if you did, please subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.